what we're figuring is that you like we can feed along the front and you guys can feed in the shed. Okay, yeah. Because that way. Right. <laughs> right. We have this thing. You're gonna laugh. It's called so surname's Wilson. The Wilson Run, and it was our friend. She's not from a farm, but she comes down all the time. And obviously, they're so keen for their food, aren't yeah. they? <laughs> so we have a like. You you fill your bucket away from them, try and be as quiet yeah, as yeah. possible. You don't and then, know. And then you have to like... You, just like oh. uh, yeah, like else, you have to hop over the bale and it's been named the Wilson River because it's just Oh so no. you don't get felled by them when they're, when they're coming for you. But yeah, if you're feeding... They're the so front. funny though. They are, they're like... They're quite respectful. Like... No, they're not too bad. We'll not see when I'm there. They're more cheaper. You're going to be impressed. I'll do it. I'll do it. Funny, funny, but... yeah. Right, you ready? Yeah. Right, come on then. Okay. Okay. Right, stop so those black things. But no. They were just like, no, pretty well behaved, cheap. I'm impressed with myself. <laughs> As I say, you have to be fit to be a farmer. <laughs> like, I honestly have to be fit. I can do this. Come on, what's next? It's harder for girls as well, like you and were saying. Like these bags are like 25 kilos. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, it's, it's like carrying like half your body weight. Well, I didn't think I was going to get that up, and I did. So I'm like, <laughs> yes, I thought just get it up, and once it starts tipping, it'll be lighter. Yeah. And you always thought like you're always carrying them like it's not, you know, you can carry something up here easier yeah, yeah, than yeah. what you can do like this. Yeah, and tipping out. At the same yeah. Time. Mate, they're awesome, aren't they? They're just like they look amazing. Yeah, I'm gonna have two lambs. I'm gonna look after them. Yeah. Yeah. They're fab. I, I, do you scan them all? Yeah, we get Cami. The sheep game. Uh, yes. He comes. He came and scanned them this year. Yeah. When he could finally get on the islands, it was like, oh, I can't get on today. Oh, I can't get on today. I can't get on today. At which point it was like, oh my god, Cammy, it's like February. <laughs> yeah. So we're really model coddly the ones having threes. We just like give them as much as they can eat because obviously they're doing a big, big job. Mm. Yeah. Uh, the twins just get fed as is. And the singles are they're way out the other side of the farm because they're a lot more tolerant to, you know, bad weather or anything else. On paper, like carbon footprint wise, um, yeah, livestock comes out really bad. But when I started to see like what goes into like yeah. Yeah. plowing the ground, well, yeah. there's a lot of carbons. Out. Yeah. Um, like tilling it, you know, there's so many yeah. pathways like yeah. rolling it, fertilizer. Uh, fertilizer, and everything into that as mm -hmm. well, and mm -hmm. then seeding it, and then um, spraying it, and then like harvest, and yeah, it's making bales, and then leading bales, and leading grain. Yeah. And then it's sitting. Like, you know, there's like yeah. so many things. It's it's really interesting because I think sometimes it's seen as oh well, if you aren't going to if you were going to be vegetarian or vegan, then um, then you can just turn to the arable side. But arable relies on yeah. livestock. Want to keep grass in the rotation, yeah. but you kind of need a, a kind of mixed approach yeah. to tr for that carbon <laughs> footprint element. Is, yeah. There's no like official recognised process for it yet. And maybe that will come. Yeah, um, yeah. So it'd be lovely. I'd love to be able to market. Uh, like, we've had some lamb in the local butcher, haven't we? Yeah. But really nice to know. Oh, actually, this is carbon neutral. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Mm. And it's uh, like high welfare. It's organic. It's as local as you can get it. Yeah. Miles. Like everything coming together. Yeah. yeah. That's kind of what we're aiming. Yeah. To do, I think, like. I don't know how sustainable it is to keep doing what we have been doing. Yeah. And actually, with events at the moment and costs rising, input costs, I think 
more people will be more open to considering alternative approaches. Because mm -hmm. we found when we said we were going organic that um, it's not, it seems it's not a dirty word. Popular, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because it's, it's not really what people be, have done. Yeah. Um, and I guess the thought is that we're just going to have loads of weeds and um, yeah, we know. might do. <laughs> well, hopefully not, but, yeah. I think farmers have to try stuff, but what farmers like is somebody else who have tried it before, yeah. Yeah. make the mistakes and like, oh yeah, we can come in now and we can kind of follow what they've done yeah. and be, yeah. you yeah. know, yeah. half all right. So now fertilizer's a thousand pound a ton. People are thinking, oh, God, it might work. Yeah. <laughs> farmers are so adaptable though. So whatever, um, if government wants to come and take a lead and uh, release a policy mm -hmm. that we can follow, like focal change. Yeah. yeah. Really Definitely. quick, you know, like from year to year. Mm. Um, so yeah, I don't know. It's exciting. Like, it is exciting. It is. Future's still bright.